Hey y'all, we are live here in Mid City as we're starting to see some uh, localized street flooding with this storm that's rolling through. Um, it brought hail to this neighborhood earlier, about um, pea-sized bits of hail, though I saw some a little bit bigger on social media. Um, and basically right now, we are just hoping that this doesn't turn in. Um, and they've been, you can tell everybody's kind of getting out of the way of the flooding here. Um, I had a neighbor who, who just straight up moved their car down the block. They were like, bye, not handling this today. Tennessee Street, Mid City, and we got, um, oh wait, here comes the car, I'm gonna get out of the way. We had about two and a half feet of water on August 5th, which is the flood that we all know and remember from last summer. This is um, Hennessy Street, Mid City, so for context, oh, here we go. <laughs> for, for context, this is um, right on the back corner of Jesuit High School, so, um, ooh, sorry, I'm losing my footing a little bit. Uh, so I'm standing in the middle of the road and I'm five foot nine um, and as you can see you cannot see my feet uh, it's well over ankle deep now um, and so I ran out here storm is, is gone uh, underwater there and it's pretty cracked so I'm not gonna try walking across it just because I don't want to I don't want to lose my footing um, and as we, as we all remember, the trash cans floating from August 5th. Uh, see it already so here I'm walking up this is down down bank street that's you can't really see it but the next light there is canal or not canal I'm sorry Carrollton using my balancing skills here all right so you can see this entire intersection is just underwater at the moment that is South Solomon and Bank Street right in front of me these guys are trying to navigate this. Here comes another car. So this is, this is Bank Street. That's Jesuit High School there on the left. And you can see these cars are trying to navigate this area. Just, just like me, though they're a little bit higher. Oh, goodness, okay. Um, all right. So this storm only started about, I would say, probably an hour, hour and a half ago. Um, and came down pretty hard. We had some hail in this part of town. This is, like I said, Mid-City by Jesuit High School. Um, we had about, about pea-sized hail, from what I could tell. <laughs> we didn't ding the roof of my car. Oh, here somebody comes. Hello. We're just gonna try and make it through, it looks like. Oh, I'm sorry to hear your car was flooding. I hope um, I hope everything's okay, y'all. So we've got some Jesuit students leaving school, trying to get out. Usually um, around this time on a Friday, Bank Street is just packed with cars as people are coming to pick up their kids. So as you can see, it's a little more empty today. I'm gonna head down here. This is the intersection of Solomon and Bank Street. I'm gonna actually get into the street here so that I know where I'm stepping. So Solomon during the August 5th flood definitely um, definitely got some water like this. Um, here comes another car. I'm gonna get out of the way so that they can just keep moving. All right so I'm on the neutral ground here on Bank Street in Solomon. So 
definitely a wake zone at the moment. And this car is definitely gonna have some water issues. And these guys are just trying to get out of the way back there. So, it looks like Carrollton up there is just gridlock. Um, they're doing some work on Carrollton, so I know some of the roads closed off anyway. So you can see down Solomon. I think I'm okay to get off the neutral ground here for a minute and I can show you guys down Solomon Street. Okay. So, as you can see, Solomon's also pretty flooded. So if you're just joining us, this is Solomon and Bank Street. This is Jesuit High School that we're close to. Um, and this part of town did flood during the August 5th flood. So it looks like we are in for a little bit of a repeat to some degree, at least in this specific neighborhood. Um, so here's this car you can see. That's a Ford 1500. I'm sorry, I don't know my cars very well, y'all. Um, all right, let me get out of the way so these cars are not slowing down for me. Jesuit High School. So you can see these cars are coming through slowly. And this was this was a storm that really started just about an hour and a half ago um, and just really started coming down hard. We had a little bit of hail. It was around pea-sized hail in this part of town. Um, and now we just have a lot of water. So I'm gonna see if I can't get off. Just The neutral ground's kind of a mess because all those leaves and stuff. So I'm trying to stay off of it as much as I can. So, trying to walk carefully. Um, I've probably got, I would say, about eight to nine inches of water coming up. Um, as I'm, the farther away I get from Solomon, the, the the lower the water is. But oh, here comes another car. If you guys are out there, please be safe. Try not to drive in any standing water. As we all know, turn around. It's much safer to just sit tight and wait for wait for all this to go back down or just find another route. I know it's gonna be annoying, but it's much safer than trying to navigate through all this stuff. And as somebody who had to buy a new car after the August 5th flooding, it is definitely not fun to have soaking wet floorboards. So, <laughs> um, I'm gonna head back this way. So that's uh, that's the, the the field behind Jesuit High School. So as you can see, there's definitely a lot of water as these cars are coming through it. Yeah, this is Bank Street. Um, this is Bank Street, and I just was up at the corner of Solomon, and now I'm between Solomon and Hennessy on Bank Street. So, sorry, I don't want to drop my phone. All right, here comes another car. And so all of, all of our neighbors were moving their cars out of the way. And as you can see, Bank Street flooded pretty significantly during the August 5th flooding. So I think a lot of people are nervous about leaving their cars here. Um, all right, here comes this car. This one decided they didn't want to try and risk it. Both of them are backing up. All right. Guy, big load that would not be fun to drive through all this okay so the rain's still coming down pretty heavy um, like I said the storm started about an hour and a half two, two hours ago I want to say at this point um, let's see uh, right around 3 45 4 o'clock and uh, this is the result of that um, we had some hail uh, it was around pea-sized hail um, and now the rain is just coming. So you guys stay on NOLA.com. We're gonna have more coverage as uh, we 
I guess as the rain continues and as we see what the what the re results are around around the city. So you guys um, just stay tuned and we'll have we'll have more for you. I'm gonna go make sure all my stuff is off the front porch. So uh, we'll be back soon. Thanks, you guys.